University of Tennessee. Welcome to the International Space Station. My name is Barry Wilmore. I'm a captain of the United States Navy. I wore some special flight suit for you today. I've got on my University of Tennessee orange and white flight suit, complete with the Elvis bell bottoms. I was asked if I could share a few thoughts with you. I've been on the space station now, as I record this, for just over a week. So I'm learning how to maneuver myself around and make things happen here. I brought a football with me because I like football. I watched uh, uh, Mississippi State beat Alabama yesterday uh, on a live downlink or uplink and a very exciting time. Okay, I was asked to share a little bit about uh, my experience with the University of Tennessee. Well, when I decided to go to Tennessee, University of Tennessee Space Institute, I was actually in test pilot school in uh, Patuxent River, Maryland. And I was working on a master's degree through Tennessee Tech. It was in electrical engineering, but I was a pilot. And that will happen. We have uh, kind of going on what's going on as I do this. So uh, as a pilot, I thought, you know, I'd like some type of uh, training in my chosen field as well as electrical engineering. So I did a little bit of research and found that uh, UTSI had a space systems master's degree. So I made some phone calls, went for a visit and uh, eventually uh, uh, joined in and started the program. And uh, about a year and a half later, I uh, finished the degree. I did my thesis on actually uh, night vision goggle technology, training people to use night vision goggles in the test environment. So that was uh, my step into the University of Tennessee. Of course, any other state, uh, any other college, anywhere else was not even a consideration uh, at the time for me because I was born and raised in Tennessee and that's where I wanted to where I wanted to go to school. I've been in the Navy now for 28 years and I still have Tennessee license plates. So I'm a Tennessean. That's, a, that's, a, that's, that's where I was born and bred and that's where I love to be. Okay, what I thought I'd do now is take you on a short tour of the space station. Now I have the camera as I look at it. It's just me and the camera. I have it uh, connected with an arm so it might be a little shaky at first but that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take you on a tour and show you a few things we'll end in the cupola looking down at earth so again it may be a little shaky to begin with but here we go All right, as I said, or actually I didn't say, did I? We are in the Japanese experimental module, the GEM. That's where we are right now. And as we transit through the space station, I'll turn the camera around here in a little bit, and you can see uh, a little bit of force in any direction will get you moving. And that's exactly what's happening right now. Just a little bit of force on the ground, and now it was off and running. We'll leave that microphone there. We'll use the mic now that's on the camera. As we continue, going through the GEM. We're going to come into node one, or excuse me, node two. That's where our sleep stations are. And I'll spin the camera around here and let you look down the space station, the center part of it. That's looking through node two into the lab. If we continue on around, that is the Columbus module. So the very front of the station is the Columbus module and the Japanese experimental module. And that's where we're heading now. Right here, actually, is our sleep stations. It's where we sleep. So this is mine. You can see my Navy wings. I'm a Navy pilot. There's my Navy wings up there at the top. And I'm going to leave the football in there. And you see my sleeping bag in there and all. We'll shut the door so the football doesn't float away. And we'll continue on down. Into the U.S. lab now. You can sort of see a glimpse of Reed Wiseman Tonto, another fine Navy pilot. He's working on, he's got a spacewalk in two days. And he and uh, Alex Durst, they're preparing for the spacewalk. And then Reed and I, a week after that, are scheduled for a spacewalk as well. I don't know where uh, Alex is, but he's hiding off somewhere. This is our airlock. You can see both suits are all getting ready to go as we prep. A lot of preparation for a spacewalk. 
Ah, little loop de loo. Thank you there, Reed. <laughs> now we're coming in to node three. This is where we have our treadmill. And also in the back there, you can see our device, resistive exercise device. It has vacuum uh, tubes, basically, that give us resistance. And that's what we use when we work out for weights. I'm going to take the camera off the arm now. And I'm going to position that arm so it doesn't float away. See here, I put it under that bungee right there so it doesn't float away. And now, we'll look out. And I believe, if you look at the... Put on a little filter here so we'll make the camera see better. You're looking at the western edge of Africa as we look out side. You can see the very tip of Africa way down there. And again, here up the western coast. Pan on around. Up the western coast. And way over here to the left, you can see almost the entire island of Madagascar. Pretty amazing. We'll turn the camera over now, give you sort of a more of a unnatural perspective. Instead of inverted. Pretty amazing place. This is where I'll be working the robot arm. These are the robot arm controls. During the spacewalk, and you can see the robot arm outside there looking down from our perspective. All right, that's all I have for you. Y'all have a great day. Part of me wishes I could be there with you, but part of me is pretty satisfied to be here. So, take care from the International Space Station. So long. <laughs>